one. So here you got the sales data for one of the supermart in India, which is distributed by cities and by states. Now we have to analyze which state is doing how and which city is doing how. It really becomes a little difficult to see and visualize it. So that's where we use the maps in visualization. And in Power BI, it is very simple to create the one. So just like this, like you can see over here, I have created that, I have just plotted that data which I was just showing you on the India map. This is the sales data for one of the supermart by cities and by states of India. So for example, if you see over here, so this represents two state Gujarat and city Surat and the total amount of sale over there, this green color in this circle. If you hover your pointer on this orange color, it simply represents Ahmedabad in Gujarat and the total sales amount in Ahmedabad. All right. So you see how interesting it looks and how easy it is. All right. So now if you think that it could be very difficult to create this kind of visualization, let me tell you, it's going to be on blink of eyes, right? So let's just create that. You just go in the visualization pane and choose the map, map from here and from your data. All right. Before I proceed further, let me tell you something uh, over here. So first of all, if you are doing it for the first time, you might get some error and hence it is important that you go in files menu and in go in options and settings and from here you need to go in options all right when you go in options it's gonna give you this thing and in the security pen you're gonna go back over here and just check this box right and then say okay so once that is done then you are very much in position to go ahead and utilize this the second thing which you need to take care of is in your data the data must be clean which means the state name specifically the state name and the cities are should uh, should be very very clean okay and the columns are named properly so if it is a state it must be named as a state if it is city it must be named as city if it is country it must be named as country if you have some data with different name and you want to still use that do let me know into the comment section i'll make another video and into that i'll explain that into more detail but now let's focus on this creating the map to represent our cells all right so like you saw that i already have clean data which i did in excel itself i'll upload this data on the data do not forget to download that for your practice purpose okay so over here i got this thing and now what i'm going to do is i'll just take state and i'm going to put that into the location and here is what i got so this blue circle each of this blue circle is representing a state in india where i have my supermart okay not all this state may not be all these states but those states where i have my supermart now you see over here each of these states are represented now the next thing i want to show the sales by each of these states so over here the bubble size you see into that i'm going to drag and drop this now you see the size of these blue circles are different the bigger the size the highest the sales into that particular state so for example let's have a look over here in assam we have this much of the sales and if you look over here in Dadar and Nagar Haveli, which is a union territory, we have the lowest sale. All right, low sale. I can't say the lowest because I didn't compare that, but it looks quite significantly lower. All right, so this is how we can show the states into the map. Now, further, if I want to split it further by cities, what I can do is I will go in legends. Here you see the legends box, right? So I will just take this city and put that into the legends. If you want to split it by product name, etc., you can feel free to do that. Now you see this is exactly what I was showing you in the beginning, right? So each of the state has its city where I have my supermart and the sales amount are reflecting when I hover the mouse pointer on that. Little bit of formatting. This thing is something which is capturing the area. Let me quickly go into the format and switch off the legends. That is gone. Then I will go in general and I'll just switch off titles that is also gone. So now you have this map looking pretty well. This is how you can create a map visualization in your Power BI. There are two categories of this. One is this. The other one is field map. So if you want to convert it into the field map, all that you require to do is just click on this field map. And here is what you got. All right. So this is how you can create a map in your power bi in simple steps 
I would highly recommend you download the data and play around it and let me know into the comment section if you get any doubt, any difficulty or any challenge. Until then, wish you happy learning and all the best.